It's summertime and I'm all ready for my vacation. The only thing left to do is figure out where I'm going. Oh, cool, Australia. Now, if I can just get this in. I wish I had a map. It'd be a lot easier to pack. A map is great, because you can keep it rolled up when you don't need it, and lay it flat when you do, like tinfoil. This transformation doesn't change the size or shape of the continents. It's always the same map. But a globe is a sphere, not a cylinder. Can we bend the foil into this shape? Not without crumpling. What about the reverse? Can we flatten the sphere? Not without ripping it. We can't avoid these distortions. Changing a globe into a map is not as simple as unrolling tin foil. Why don't we use a projection? That's something we're all familiar with. We use projections every time we go to the movies. All the light begins at a single point, passes through the film image, and projects it onto a screen. We can do something similar to change the surface of our globe into a map. The origin of our projection will be the North Pole, and we'll use the plane for the screen. The only point touching the plane is the South Pole. This particular projection is known as a stereographic projection. All we do is trace lines from the origin point through the globe onto the plane. That's it! We're done! But wait! The map is totally distorted! Look at these lines of longitude. They start together at the South Pole, spread apart at the equator, and join up at the North Pole. On our map, they start together at the South Pole, but then they spread out toward infinity, never coming back together at all. If I put a hula hoop around Antarctica and trace it with my laser beam, both circles are about the same size. But if I take the same hula hoop and put it around the North Pole, the circle I traced is enormous. These distortions show that our projection changes the size of the continents. But wait a minute. One feature hasn't changed. Look at the angles. These longitude lines intersect at 90 degrees on the globe and the map. Even the X I drew has the same angle measurements. Our stereographic projection preserves angles. But this isn't the only kind of projection. What if we moved the origin to the center of the sphere instead of the surface? What if we rolled our screen into a cylinder? Or a cone? What would be distorted? What would be preserved? Can you think of any other ways to project a map? You think about it. I'm going on vacation. Good day, mate! <coughs>